All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. My name is Roderick Chappelle, and in this video, you guys are not gonna believe it. We're gonna be talking about the food shortages in Raleigh, North Carolina. So, throw it over to Grim. Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. All right, welcome back. So I know a lot of you guys are like this cookie crazy freaking dopey guy. It's talking about the food shortages again. But you know what? The message and the word is getting out to the point where you, the subscriber, are starting to contact me and send me your pictures. And I welcome that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to give a shout out to C Rays. R A Y E S C Rays is one of our subscribers. And she contacted me about four or five days ago. She said, Roderick, listen, I want to send you some pictures of what I saw in one of my local grocery stores. So Without further ado, let's look at what's going on in Raleigh, North Carolina. Not even in my area. I'm in the Hampton Roads, Virginia area. She's in, she and her, her husband are in Raleigh, North Carolina. So, I want you to look at this, okay? And I want you to notice that it's not just in my area. And for those that are still out, you know, saying that, okay, this guy's crazy, he's dopey, he's, you know, he's he's wearing a tin hat. I don't care what you think or say about me. Just make sure you get you some preps, okay? Stock up on preps. Learn how to grow food yourself. Let's, let's go over it again in class. Stock up on preps. Stock up on preps. Learn how to grow food yourself. Learn how to grow food yourself, all right? Because... And she and I were talking the other day, you know, we was emailing back and forth. And I was like, you know, I really, truly hope that we are wrong about this food shortage. All right. I hope we're wrong. But the way the signs are looking and the way things are going, we're not wrong. OK, check this out. Now, notice that. Is looking kind of like some of the some of the other videos I've posted, except I didn't doctor any of these pictures. I didn't Photoshop any of this. I didn't go to Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. And you notice that a lot of this stuff, they're like, hey, we in short supply of it, and you can get a rain check and blah 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 blah. Okay, that's all good. But I'm telling y'all, look at the telltale signs of what's going on. Okay. Now, before we go to the next picture, we're going to cut and go to another one of our sponsors. Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Heartseat Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on Plant Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roger Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel where we'll be discussing the extraordinary stories of ordinary people. For now, cue the intro. Okay, welcome back. Plant-based homestead prepper where we make prepping fun. And right now, if you have not done so, hit the like button. I need you to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And it's sitting right. It's one of these corners right here. <laughs> so hit the subscribe button. But <clears throat> I want you guys to notice, and I'm gonna leave some of these pictures up. I want you to notice how I'm gonna see if I can't hold it. Notice how this one right here. It's starting to look. It's starting to look grim, as my grim, uh, as my friend over at Grim Survival says. It's starting to look grim, folks. All right. Now, it may not be affecting your area yet, depending on your demographics, and really depending on how big your city is. Now, we have noticed, and from the folks I'm talking to, a lot of the the more rural areas are getting hit first. Okay, and the cities like where I live, every now and then you're seeing some things. But folks, please listen. Go out and get you some preps all right and i've done a ton of videos where i'm walking around i'm shopping and just on five dollars okay five dollars a week you can start stocking up on more preps all right and watch more of our videos where we're doing we're doing some we're showing you how to grow food i did a video uh two three weeks ago where i showed you actually how to uh plant and sow seeds of carrots 
and tomatoes in a pot. If even if you live, listen to me, even if you live in an apartment, you can grow some food yourself. Everybody has a balcony, right? Okay, and if you don't have a if you have a balcony, then that means you probably have a um what's those um the glass doors where you can get plenty of sunlight in. All right, starting to get cold, grow some food in your home in some pots. You can do that. All right. So, thanks again to C Rays for sending me those pictures. Ooh, hey, this is Roderick Chappelle for Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Hey, I stopped at this store and got this cool Halloween mask. Look at this thing. It's got long hair. It's got a beard of a white guy. Man, this is scary, man. And uh, look at here. It even looks real. So, uh, but anyway, this is uh, actually Paul from Off Grid Desert Farm with Paul and Adrian. And uh, we're working together with uh, with Roderick's channel to, uh, to get things going. So, uh, if y'all have time, stop by our channel and check it out. But uh, just wanted to do a little intro for... Uh, for the plant-based homestead prepper, we, we make prepping fun, guys. So, um, they do have this mask at your local store, probably, or maybe on America's Most Wanted. But anyway, <laughs> y'all guys have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Welcome back again. See, I'm now I'm starting to trick you guys up on these commercials. Um, my my heart is for people. I love people, and my biggest fear is that this thing continues. We keep going through this food shortage, and eventually it turns to a food crisis. And that is the last thing that I want to see for any of us. I was watching a, watching a video yesterday where this family actually went 90 days without going to the grocery store. 90. 90 days. So I'm thinking about doing a challenge on the channel. Instead of doing 90 days, see if we can't go a whole week without going to the grocery store. And it's going to be very difficult for us because most of, the, most of the things that we eat are fresh fruits and veggies. So that week will be rough for us. We will probably um, fast that week. I don't know when we're going to do it. I don't know what time we're going to do it, but I'm thinking about doing it. And you guys let me know if you think that's a good idea. And if you want to participate in something like that, just email us, plantbasedhomesteadprepper at gmail.com. Plantbasedhomesteadprepper at gmail.com. So, we, um, you know, it's, it's, getting, it's, getting, it's getting worse in some areas. Uh, I think it's going to get better the closer we get to Thanksgiving. I think the stores are going to start flooding their inventory. With massive amounts of food, all right, like this, and I believe that um, by doing so, it's going to lull us into a false sense of security, and that is the worst thing you can do right before a crisis hits. Is is you know be lulled into a false sense of security, and it kind of reminds me back right before 9/11. You know, if you guys remember, you know, right before that. Everything was going well. The, the economy was okay, and people were, you know, people were doing well, and 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 then all of a sudden, bam! Nine eleven happened. It changed our lives forever. Just imagine, you go to the grocery store, and you see this. Not only in just one, um, one one section of the grocery store, but in all sections of the grocery store. What will you do? How are you going to feed your family? What are you willing to do to feed your family? Do you have small children? Do you have pets? Do you take care of your parents? See, these are questions that you have to start answering now so that when this happens, you're not, you're not in trouble, okay? Because it's not, and, I, and, I, and I'm not trying to give you fear porn, and I'm not trying to, well, I am trying to scare you because this is a serious situation. <laughs> I'm about to say I'm not trying to scare you, but yeah, this, I mean, this is a scary situation, Um. And it could it could get really really bad. So folks, go out, get you some preps, and you know even if even if you're on a fixed income, even if you're on a low budget, five dollars a week. Five, five. You know remember those um those uh, subway commercials, five dollar foot long, five dollar five dollar foot long. Just five dollars a week would change your life. And just just think about it. I mean, you could literally 
go to, I mean, I found canned goods for as low as like 33, 35 cents. So that's like almost three for a dollar, right? Five dollars would get you three, six, nine. I mean, that would get you like what? Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. That would give you a lot of food. If you bought, if you just bought corn and beans, okay? At least it would keep you alive. You'd be able to eat something. And then every now and then you can throw you some chili in there, throw you some uh uh some beans and rice, you know. But then again, you gotta think about water, 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 water. Okay, so make sure, make sure, sir, make sure, ma'am, you're going out and just prepping for yourself. Because if if it never happens, let's just say I'm crazy, and let's say this never happens. Well, guess what? You can always eat your way. You can always eat your way to happiness. If I'm wrong, but if I'm but if I'm right and you don't do it, it's gonna be a sad situation. All right, so thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Your comments keep me going. I need to hear more. I need to read more comments. I need you guys to email me. If you want me to dedicate a video to your area, email me. Send me the pictures. Tell me where it is. And I will do a video specifically for your area. I promise you. Okay? Because I, I enjoy doing these videos. I like doing it. But more importantly, is getting the word out. All right? So... Do what this little girl right here does. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>